Beauty, Enchanted Unicorn Adventure. All right, let's get to it. Aurora, who was known as Briar Rose at the time, was teaching her aunts how to plant a garden, for weeks they had tempted to the seed, watered, weeded, and waited, and the buds were finally showing. <laughs> this is worrying an artistic girl. Oh? Would they hurry up? Mummy Worry said. It's be worth the wait, Briar Rose said. But Mary Weaver didn't like waiting. Later that night, she asked the, the other aunts, You know what would make the flowers bloom? She whispered. To. Lana? Magic? Or four? Goodness sake! Flora magic she went to the countess where the, their magic wands were hiding. No wands? She purchased a wee promise. Everyone got ready for bed. But Flora Rosa couldn't fall asleep. She it went a surprise for her aunts. And the she thought it, it might be a river to die the night. Under the light of the moon. Some Something wonderful ha was was happening. It's really easy. You just took a hole and the line. He reaches down there. You can see with his eye. Hmm. They're blooming! Bright Rose cried as she dashed down the stairs and out the front door. But how could that be? Wilfana asked. The sun has already set, Flora said to Mary River, giving her a stern look. It, wa it wasn't me, Mary River replied. Rye Rose ran outside, with her aunt following her close behind. They were all excited to see the flowers. Yeah, yeah, the unicorn is to the sea. There are flowers. Sorry enough, the garden was bursting with with blooms. Surprise! Flora Briar Rose shouted. Incredible! Flora exclaimed. How can flower blooms with the sun? It's almost like a hem magic. The words of the Briar Rose began. So we planted the special seeds, even the purple the moon flowers, and night blooming flowers. Fauna! Excited. I should have known. Just then, a branch snapped. Briar Rose turned and couldn't believe her eyes. Then, I got to talk to the people who are here to breathe and see there. In the corner of the garden, a family of unicorns was grazing on the eye, uh, uh, the moonlit, the moonlit blooms. The baby's horns glittered. Briar Rose's eyes were glued to the magical creatures. Unicorns only could have came out at night. For fear of being seen, Flora said to a Briar Rose, They must have smelled the flowers. They eat petals. Briar Rose plucked a few petals, then uttered the her in crunching hand to the baby unicorn. It licked Briar Rose's hand as it ate. It ticked. We should have let them be. Maybe where is such a shoe? You can eat as much as you want, Briar Rose said softly to the unicorn family. You're just the same, the same for her. Here is Briar Rose and her aunt headed back to her cottage. It had to be of a great day, and Briar Rose was very proud of her night blooming flowers. She couldn't wait to check on her enchanted villagers the next bright night. What happened to the seed? They're like a couple, couple, couple. Just right. <laughs> Meanwhile, Maleficent's raven was out for a night flight. He spotted something unusual and interested and rushed to in it back to Maleficent. In, in her castle, Maleficent was not pleased. Unicorns. In that pixie cottage garden, 
We'll have to do something about that, she said. Maleficent didn't like it in anything out of the ordinary. And unicorns are weird. Maleficent didn't like anything out the, of the ordinary. And unicorns were the most extraordinary uh, creatures I had out of all. She would have not of it. When I'm through, no, one will be ever good to enjoy those flowers. Maleficent began to from perform her evening plan. She knew how she could get right of the enchanted creature, but she would have to look and act fast. Her reason, Raven, is to feel for feel back off to the garden. Moments later, a first a first protruded from the tower window. It moved fast, heading straight for the right of the Briar Rose Garden. Those unicorns will have a hard time finding something to eat now, Maleficent said. Early the next morning, Briar Rose rushed into the garden, but her experience quickly turns into a constraint. What bad luck, she cried. She here to her garden would run even worse, it seems to you know, her the unicorn friends that were out of food. Briar Rose had to help. She grabbed into her clothes and a, a basket, then walked down a narrow path. Perhaps some flowers are blooming elsewhere in the forest. She thought she noticed that the forest hadn't traveled far. Now we see. This is worth something, say. She walked un until nightfall. Then Bri Rose caught a kiss of a moving bush. It was the mother unicorn. The mother unicorn had to be a person at the a path of wild flowers. Are you trying to bring the food back to, for the baby? Bri Rose asked. The unicorn with it. Let me help, Briar Rose said. And together they plucked and extracted the brushes. When Briar Rose and the mother unicorn returned to the moonlight garden, Briar Rose sprinkled petals across the snow. Let me hear. I want to dive with their wings. The next morning, Briar Rose checked on her breakfast, and as it to her destiny, the flowers were already waiting. Briar Rose grabbed her that gardening book and flipped through the pages. I didn't let the frost stop and me then, and I won't let the flowers, the flowers stop me now, she said. There are flowers that bloom, even when it's cold and snowy. Did we plant blooming? Many words and seasons to ask. We did, Briar Rose answered. Forget me not. Well, uh, with a little help, they be ready be nightfall. Be easy, ordinary, ordinary, meanwhile, ordinary. I would just hit the meanwhile, the little, little said ordinary, up the little of the town. <gasps> but anywhere here. A br a Briar Rose gathered her gardening tools while Mary Weaver rose the, the, the uh, other onions. They cut carefully and watered the plants to get clear and then they melt the snow. Next, Briar Rose entered the fauna, fa fa to see the friends in the end of the trail that they took a deep and leave. Flora gathered cleared the dressing and cleared it away by the end of the day. The garden looked uh, good as new, and poking through the soil in the corner of the garden was a burst of flowers. The forget-me-not of the has blooms. <gasps> Be sure that in my heart that my dear did deal. Just then, the baby unicorn trotted forward and sniffed the blue petals. It started eating, and Briar Rose paddled into the creature's head. 
I can't believe I haven't shared a plant to keep visits with every night, Briar Rose said. Then just their unicorns eat to the really share. Flora gave at the other, on the other sideways glance. My dear, she began, as you know, flowers only last for the reason. I'm afraid unicorns are similar, Lemmy Warner said. They don't stay in one place for long, Flora said. But don't fret, Fauna said. Maybe they'll come back again next year. Just like the flowers, Briar Rose replied. As did her aunts wrapped her, her in a warm hug. Briar Rose was certain of one thing. She couldn't remove any urgency that was for her way. Granted with the, the help of, of the, for her family. <gasps> she doesn't shoot the look at you. She became enchanted. 